Welcome back to Kibi's Collectibles, everyone, and Happy New Year. Thank you for joining me today. We are going back into Goodwill, and we are going to be looking for some home decor and some goodies for my booth. So let's go ahead and get to it. I found a few salt and pepper shakers, and I did not notice that they were anything old, but both sets were $1.95. I came across these silver plated, what I would call trivets, and they would be handy, but I don't really want the work that goes into keeping them nice and shiny. And this is a Hager vase. Now this is not particularly old. It has that UPC code, $3.95. I have one already in my booth that's a little bit taller and it's not moving at all. I did notice this cute little tin. And there are many people that collect tins this one in particular had the cutest little graphics and it was only 95 cents not a bad price i also found this rather interesting this candlestick it had this cute little cherub baby but i thought the price was a little steep for me And this is one of those snack sets where you have the plates and the little cup that goes along with it. I wasn't really interested in this for my booth or personally, so I left that for someone else to find. This is an Anchor Hawking deviled egg plate. It has that gold trim around it. It's a beautiful plate. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a high resale value, so I left that plate behind. Now, check this out. This looks as if it is a cake mold in the shape of a turkey, but each piece had two different prices. So many people are interested in owls, and this was just a little resin owl here. And I couldn't help but notice this gorgeous little flamingo. This was a bell from St. Thomas, Virgin Islands. $1.95. Beautiful color. And y'all, I'm not really sure what this is. Is this a sugar dish? It's so cute though. If you happen to know what this might be, please let me know down in the comments. And this looks like it's part of a salt and pepper shaker, but we're missing the little hen. I found this cute little honey bear However, his eyes were missing a lot of the paint. This owl is modern and it's something that you would find in Home Goods or in a TJ Maxx. What an adorable little mug, a hippo. And it was in pretty good condition. 95 cents is not a bad price.
This is Vintage Corel. This is the Garden Getaway pattern. And it was $1.95 for two plates and two bread plates. Then I came across this little set here. Now, I didn't like the pricing. It was a little scattered. They were all priced differently. And then I found these glass stirrers. They were $2.95 and three of these little stirrers had ducks on the top. They were so cute. I like these little salt and pepper shakers. I'm not sure of the pattern. They seem to be a vintage piece and I like how it had the little S and the P on top. I dug to the back of the shelf and found this picture. I thought it was quite beautiful. I love that it was black and the paint looked really good. Some places were rubbing off a little bit and I couldn't tell where this piece was from. I tried to get the sticker off of the bottom, but I was unable to. I ran into a few more salt and pepper shakers. This one is a single. This little parrot was so cute. It's from Pier 1. And next to the parrot was a set, it looks to me as if they were spools of thread. And behind that, this blue vase. I think I should have picked this up. It is from Japan and it was rather interesting. And I do love brass candlesticks. I saw these three in a set. They were 95 cents each. And I really liked the bottom. Typically the bottoms are just plain, they're smooth, but these had a little bit of a, a more ornate design. Then I ran into these canisters that you would see in a doctor's office. They even had first aid supplies inside of each canister. I wasn't sure what was going on here. I wasn't sure if a local doctor's office had closed or if this was just someone's personal first aid kit. And then I came across this lovely vintage 1985 Royal Crown Arnart Pink Flamingo. It's a ceramic figurine and it's signed by J. Byron. It is in good condition. There are no chips or cracks. There's really no paint loss. I was amazed at this beautiful little piece. Then I saw these great looking owl plaques. The first one did not have a price on it, but the second one did. And I just thought they would be great for any owl lover out there. There was a nice stack of lids here, looks like from maybe corningware, uh, different types of frying pans perhaps. So if you needed a lid for anything, this is the place to be. And I really thought that this saucer was so cute. I don't know the pattern, but I love the coloring. I love the flowers. I definitely would have bought this had it had the teacup with it.
then check out this gorgeous Mikasa nativity scene. I could not believe my eyes. It is in wonderful shape and it really only has three pieces but you know sometimes less is more so this could not be a better find. And then I came across these glasses here. Actually they're lowball glasses and you know my husband likes to have a little cocktail every now and then and these would be great. I loved that they had this little place for your thumb and you know they look like little ice cubes. And boy oh boy did I want to grab this basket. It was $5.99 which honestly isn't a bad price for this size of a basket. It really looked worn and lots of little frayed areas on it so I had to leave it behind. The first thing that I purchased that I would like to share with you are these lowball glasses. Now my husband likes to have a little cocktail every now and then and he definitely used these to bring in the new year. They look like little ice cubes and he just absolutely loves them. Next I purchased the baggie full of glass stirring sticks. There were about 50 stirring sticks in that baggie, plus there were three that looked like little ducks. They were precious. And what I've done is I've already bundled them into a bundle of six stirring sticks. And I am going to sell them in my booth for $4 per bundle. Next, I picked up the most beautiful flamingo figurine. It is by J. Byron and it is from 1985. I could not believe that it was in such great shape. There were no chips or cracks and I was so excited to bring this home and place my flamingo with my others in my collection. I was so excited to find this Mikasa nativity set. It is beautiful and I am going to save it until next year and sell this in my booth. It was a great price and I am sure that someone will purchase this for their Christmas decor. I do love brass so I could not leave these brass candlesticks behind. I love the bottom, how they're a little bit more fancy than your just basic flat bottoms. And I think I'm going to keep these for a little while, use them in my home, and then maybe sell them in my booth when I'm ready. All right, thank you everyone for tuning in with me today. I hope that you have started the new year off with a bang. And I really appreciate every one of you watching my videos. If you enjoy my videos, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. I usually upload every Sunday and I am excited for 2021. And until next time, bye-bye.